Welcome in the hands-on reactive programming with Java 12. My name is Tomasz Elek and I am a software engineer programming mostly in Java and Scala. I am a fan of microservices architecture and functional programming. I am creating reactive applications with Java Flow, Reactor and Rx Java. So let's see what we will learn throughout this course. We will start from the looking at the reactive API and most important aspects of this API. Next, we will see how to publish and consume messages. So we'll be starting Stocks Exchange application. Once we will have that, we'll be doing transformation of messages. So we'll see how to plug custom transformation into our reactive flow. Then in section four, we'll be solving problem of overproducing publisher with back pressure. So we'll implement back pressure mechanism on the reactive flow. Once we will know about custom implementations using standard Java API, we'll be looking at the alternatives for it. So Eric's Java and Reactor. And finally, we will see how to use our knowledge in microservice. So we'll be creating reactive microservice. And let's look at the prerequisites of this course. So first one is understanding of Java and HTTP. You also don't need to have an IntelliJ IDE installed and modern laptop or desktop. And if you are a Java developer who wants to explore reactive programming and build responsive and resilient asynchronous applications using reactive stream implementations in your application, then this course is for you. All you need to get started is a familiarity with basic Java object-oriented programming concepts. And let's go through the key features of this course. So first one is understand the purpose behind Eric's Java development and use of right tools to make your application reactive and asynchronous. You will learn how to apply reactive principles with Java to make your app responsive, reliable and scalable. And finally, you will implement back pressure with reactive constructs, subscription and subscriber.